So when you meet students for the first time and you talk to them about their embouchure, what do you tell them? I tell students to open their mouth as wide as possible, uh -huh. drop the jaw, and then just draw the lips in like a drawstring bag. You're pulling the string uh -huh. in. Uh -huh. Slightly over the teeth, but you do, for the basic embouchure in the middle range, want some of the red showing uh -huh. at the lip. Yeah. How much red is showing depends a bit on the size of the lips of the player. Yeah, sure, sure. So larger lips will show more red. Um, you don't want to muffle the reed too much with too much of the lip actually in contact yeah. with the reed. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a balancing thing uh, per person. Oh. Yeah. And while you do that, you want to keep the jaw as open as possible and see how how far your lips can go to come together uh -huh. and only bring the jaw up if they won't come together uh -huh. so that um, you have optimal space between the back teeth. Uh -huh. And as you're doing that, you want to open the throat. Mm -hmm. And I think of, I set that up in the in inhalation, mm -hmm. whispering the word how as you inhale, which drops the larynx as uh -huh. you inhale. Uh -huh. And that gives you a nice full breath uh -huh. and opens the throat and back of the mouth for a bigger resonating chamber yeah, for, yeah. as part of your instrument. Mm -hmm. Anything else about setting now, you're getting ready to take a breath and you're going to set yourself up on the reed, what, what happens with the embouchure while you do that? As you go from just being still to getting ready to play. Yeah. I like to set my top lip on the reed in playing position before I take my initial inhalation for the phrase uh -huh. mm -hmm. so that it's already set and all I'm doing to inhale is dropping my jaw, mm -hmm. which in itself, again, opens the throat and sets up all those good things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Would you talk a little bit about the relationship between the changes that happen in your embouchure and how that compensates for changes that happen in the air, both in dynamically other kinds of compensation? Mm -hmm. As you're trying to play louder, you want to be more open so more of the reed can vibrate. Mm -hmm. And so you're using more air, embouchure is more open. <laughs> air, make it softer, we're going to close things up a little bit, which mm -hmm. does two things. Uh, it closes, it acts as a valve, the embouchure is a valve, closing mm -hmm. the reed a little bit, but also you can use a little more flesh on the reed to, to dampen the reed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you're doing when you're making adjustments in your embouchure to compensate for changes in the airstream, which is changing the dynamic level, what is it that you're, what is it you're trying to compensate for? Would the pitch go sharp or flat? I mean, what's happening to the, what would happen if you didn't make those changes? If I were to crescendo and did not open up as I did that, uh -huh. the pitch would go sharp. Uh -huh. And conversely, if I'm doing a diminuendo and were to stay really open, uh -huh. it's just going to go flat. Uh -huh. So, so what that does when you're opening up and, and closing up is you're really raising and lowering the pitch to keep it consistent as the airstream would change the pitch if you didn't do that, right? Right. Okay, great. And it also aids in the volume change as uh -huh. well. Mm -hmm. Pitch is certainly a factor. Yeah, good. So when you encounter students for the first time, either beginners or people who've been playing for some time, what are the most common problems that you recognize that you think, I've got to deal with that right away? That's got to be the first thing. Most students are using too much embouchure and not enough air. Mm -hmm. So initially we address how they're taking in the air, inhaling more deeply and mm -hmm. full, mm -hmm. and then how they're going to use the air. Often a lot of them are over-pressurizing. They're trying to support and they use too much muscle in the abdominal area to uh -huh. push out that air, Yeah, um, which then causes... Uh, the embouchure has to hold back some of that air, and so you get this tight embouchure, and then sure. everything's too tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting a small sound that's probably sharp in pitch. Uh huh. So, at the same time, we try to open up embouchure and get the breathing more free, so the two can complement each other mm -hmm. in producing a freer sound and a bigger sound. Yeah, yeah. I have another question too that I asked you about before about, uh, or, that you, or that you maybe mentioned, I, I, I didn't prompt this, about just the instrument. And 
what kinds of things you look for to make sure that the instrument that a student's playing and the reed are such that they can actually do the right things when they play and not have to do weird things with their embouchure or their breath or anything else that compensate for problems in the horn. Can okay. you talk about that a little bit? Well, I think if a student is being taught by a non-bassoonist, ideally the band director or whoever the teacher is would uh -huh. take the instrument to a professional bassoonist mm -hmm. um, because that's the best way to tell if all the pads are actually sealing mm -hmm. on the, the holes and um, maybe also to get an idea of the reed aperture and a kind of read that's going to work well for students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there are plenty of store-bought reads for sale out there. Many of them are not working or they're flat when they come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you just have a few minutes with students and you know they're going out the door and you're thinking, these are the things I want you to be thinking about when you're playing, about your embouchure and your air and your breath. What are those sort of encapsulating ideas that you think are really good to have for students to have on their minds every time they play, every time they practice. Mm -hmm. Relaxing the abdominal muscles mm -hmm. to inhale sets up everything to work better, mm -hmm. and keeping things more open, 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 open. Yeah. Dropping the jaw. Looser, flexible. Yeah. Yeah. Great.